Assessment is nu een ballistic missile. Alvo LVO, we gaan hem op de link zetten richting het BMDCC. This might happen if in the future a ballistic missile is launched against NATO territory. Ballistic missiles pose an increasing threat to allied populations, territory and deployed forces. This proliferation is the reason why the Netherlands decided to contribute to NATO's missile defense system. From intelligence we know that now uh, more than 30 countries uh, have or are e acquiring uh, uh, ballistic missiles and uh, they do not pose an immediate threat but in the long run uh, it could become a threat and in order to be prepared for that we think it is uh, important that NATO develops uh, ballistic missile defense capability and that uh, the Netherlands uh, participates in contributing to that uh, capability. NATO is developing the software for the missile defense system. Sensors and interceptors will be provided by nations or groups of nations through voluntary contributions. As its national contribution, the Netherlands is planning to upgrade four air defense frigates with extended long-range radar systems. Uh, we already have, as you know, a smart air radar in the Dutch uh, uh, Air Defense Command frigates. And after the modification, the smart L, which will then be smart ELR, or extended long range, will have additional features to uh, detect and track ballistic missiles at long range. The new radar will form a part of the NATO missile defense architecture. After modernization, it will be able to detect and track incoming missile threats at a distance of more than 1,000 kilometers and pass that information to NATO's air defense system, which can conduct an intercept. All systems, uh, part of the uh, ballistic missile uh, shield, are interconnected through networks. So they'll be able to pass uh, information, data, and track data. Uh, so uh, once the ship with the smart ELR radar detects uh, this ballistic missile, all the other systems and, and participants would be aware of that missile. The cost to the Dutch government of modernizing the smart L radar systems is expected to lie between 100 and 250 million euros a significant amount in times of economic austerity. The fact that we have uh, made a decision to buy uh, uh, this system in particular is that it, it is we, we already have a long tradition in the Netherlands in working very closely together with, uh, with the radar industry. Uh, this uh, upgrade is also developed by a Dutch company and um, we hope that, that uh, since we are a launching customer that maybe other uh, countries will also decide to, uh, to buy the system and then of course this will lower the cost. So that could make it a very smart investment uh, after all. That means that although defense budgets are under pressure, the Netherlands still considers it important to invest in new technologies and developments. Especially if this investment defends Dutch and NATO security. I'm Karsten Reiniers, reporting for the NATO Channel from Den Helder, the Netherlands.